welcome to the channel. My name is Carson Goldman. This is Goldman Cave TV, and today we've got a tabletop RPG unboxing. It arrived yesterday, and I am totally shocked and amazed at this product. It is not a beginner box as such, but it is more of a complete product, and it hits pretty much everything you'd want in a beginner box. Um, it is the quests of your role-playing adventure game, as seen in the Disney Pixar movie Onward with Barley um, and Ian. It is really, really amazing product. When I saw this, I said, I just thought I had to get it. I bought it straight away. Um, there was no hesitation. I watch this movie all the time with my son. He loves it. I love how they've integrated the whole Quests of Your and Dungeons and Dragons or role-playing style of games into their world or their fantasy world as the history of their fantasy world. And as I mentioned, this product does not hold back. It hits every single box that I can think of for a role-playing starter set. Before we get into it, I just want to say, like, subscribe to the video, all the bits and pieces. Um, we're trying to hit a million views, of, sorry, we're trying to hit a million subscribers on YouTube. Um, also, a Twitch TV live channel, that's where we do our live content. So check us out there for our live shows. And we're all still on, twi still on Twitter while it still survives, again, for Goblin Cave TV. So, let's get started. This box is massive. So, generally speaking, for the unboxings, I do this, and that's, <laughs> they're usually this big. So, this is two to three times the thickness of all the other boxes that we usually have on the channel. Um, one of the things I also want to point out is this what's inside. It does have a list of contents, which is really important. It's on the outside of the box, yeah, but I think it's really good. At least it's there. I usually would prefer it on the inside of the box. And it's got a picture of pretty much everything that's inside as well. That's just an example of just how much content. And of course, we've got Barley and Ian, um, the two uh, main characters in Onward. But let's get this opened. It's going to take a little bit to get it open because it's it's so tightly fitted. Um, oh, I might fast forward this. Wow, that took a long time. <laughs> that took a huge amount of time. Um, what you can't see picked up on the camera is it's ages 8 um, plus and 2 to 5 players. But let's put this away. Wow, that, that, it's, it's so tightly sealed. So, what have we got here? This is our GM screen. Yes, it has a GM screen. It's one of the things that we miss in a lot of games. So, it's very basic GM screen. Three panel, decorated on one side, and on the other side is got what you need for the game, and some examples as well of running the game, etc. Um, really simple. It's missing in so many role, so many beginner boxes. A simple GM screen. Okay, so next we have our character sheets. So we have four pre-mades. Four pre-made characters plus five blank sheets. Um, I it's, I can't really access them as I would like to because they're actually sealed together. Um, so they're in a rip-off. Um, but we've got double-sided. Um, it's not much on the other side, but very simple character styles um, and also a very simple filling in of how the character is done. Um, I don't like them being sealed together but i just say i can just think of them having them all printed so you have the five so the pre-mades plus the the blanks and you just rip it off and then rip it off and then rip it off so i can see that being a way of production to make it a bit simpler and make it a bit easier for them um just a little bit annoying for someone like me that likes to keep things contained and pristine now we have our pawns and markers and tokens so I've got to be a bit careful with these, but these are our tokens or our markers. There you go. So thick cardboard sheet, nice high quality. Tome of quests for the dungeon master or quest master. So this is a properly bound book. Um, this is also, this is as big, or sorry, this is half the size of a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition campaign book. 
and that's just goes to show how much detail is in this this is 130 plus pages um and it is the campaign of the game um it's three adventures um in one they are decent in length and it goes through and explains how to play the game and how to play an adventuring game as such um it also has a really nice quest master's law and adventurer's code this is really cool it gives you examples on how to do things and options um, i won't go into it but it's decorated and it's color coded to make it very easy to run and it's very much on um how can i put this it's designed to help young players in their first adventures in their first role-playing games this whole set is designed for that this is not a this is not a game for advanced role players although i'm i would absolutely love to play this um although coin myself advanced seems a bit weird but veteran role players i should say this is a game for people that want to learn role playing and want to start and have a lot of fun um so it's written in a way to do that but also i would certainly have a huge amount of fun in this game so the advanced players guide I have not heard a, a book called Advanced Player's Guide for a long time. Again, properly bound book. These are printed incredibly high quality stock. These are very high quality prints. These are up there with the Paizo and some of the better of the um, freely publishing prints. Um, and also very thick too. So this one is the, is the um, rules. The how to play or the rules is about 20 or 23, 24 pages, which is 15 is where I'd usually want that. But in this circumstance, this is an entire role playing product. So having the entire product around that under 30 mark is actually pretty impressive. Um, there's a lot of also optional stuff or additional information here as well. So I'll try to move the table contents a bit further across. Again, it's very hard with the box being just this huge. But the details are there. The artwork is amazing. Um, yes, it's got cards in it as well. And the how to plays, it just, it, it just reeks. Like, it just, it's good. It is really, really good. I say reeks, it actually smells of fresh, brand new books. Um, when I opened up that first time, it smells really good. But quest is yours that's the advanced um on the back it's got an action sequence which is good it's like, this is your kind of quick reference on how the game works my gripe with the book uh, my gripe with the game is that it does not have a quick reference for the players this is about it um of quick reference material um yeah that's that's my little bit of a gripe um this is your map i know that sounds strange but we have hex cards for your map you've got 24 hex cards i believe um for your map you have three sets of dice that's right three sets of dice one of my gripes have been that for beginner boxes and starter sets you only generally get one and that's usually what the gm uses um so having three sets of dice this is really cool this goes beyond what we would usually expect for a role-playing set so three sets of dice it does only have one d20 but d20 is not generally used for the game it's used for a marker system more than actually rolling we have minis again this is amazing um uh, we have i believe six minis there we go six minis including the manticore and the dragon um but that's really cool um we have cards now there were a lot of cards so i'll put these here if I can, okay, I'll put them there. So two card decks, um, quite a lot of cards. Um, I'm just read through from the table of contents of what's on the cards and kind of where, like how many cards there are. 81 item cards, 43 power cards, 27 spell cards, it moved, 11 ally cards, and we've got one Manticore's Cavern card, which I have no idea what that means, but I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a lot of cards. Um, generally speaking, I don't open these because we play online. This is not an online game. I might bring this out the next time I have a face-to-face -face game with my friends and say, this is what we're playing. 
because I think all they'll have a lot of fun. They've all now got kids as well, so I think they'll. So I guarantee they've watched Quests of Your We're on um, onward. So I think they'll have an absolute ball. Um, they do have. There's a spacer in this game, but the spacer um, is designed to hold all the bits and pieces. Just like a more of a board game, the packaging is more designed to hold everything. It could have been. It could. It doesn't. Didn't have to be as deep as it is, which is a bit of annoyance because this box is again super, super deep. So it didn't have to be as deep as it is. It could have been smaller. But that said, um, I'm really, really impressed with this product. With just how much is in there, um, what is in there, and the quality of what is in here. So it's rare to find miniatures in a game. It's rare to find, like, you don't always get dice, but when you get dice, you're only going to get one. Um, you may get some cards. A lot of the free league publishing stuff, they do have cards. They run a lot of things from cards. Um, item cards and things like that. Really good to, like, oh, you picked up an arm? Here it is. Like, have this, and you can just quick reference a card of the item or of a spell or things of that, like, of that nature. Um, having um a full lot like a full player's guide or rules guide is just immense for this type of game um and it's really well bound it's not going to fall apart it's high quality print material um the adventure as i mentioned that's half the size that one book is half the size of a DD fifth edition adventure like full campaign for D D fifth edition like the zero to fifth zero to 15 level adventures that's half the size in the amount of pages in there like the detail in it from what i've had a look really good it teaches you how to role play more than anything else it gives you those options and it gives you the workarounds for those options as in this this abilities needed so it teaches you how to gm as well or quest master qm um tokens again it's so rare to find tokens in games. Um, they're not full pawns, but they are. They are more tokens. I know. I know. I mentioned the the pawns and and counters, but no, they're, they're more tokens. So they're more counters than anything else. Um, but you still don't often find them. So again, another box ticked. The character sheets. Um, simple. I don't like that they're bound at the moment. I can only open them up this way, but. They're simple, they're easy to see what's going on, and easily explained on what's going on as well. And having spare character sheets as well, absolute must. Not all games have that, but this does. And the piece to resistance, having an actual GM screen. I don't like them personally. I actually don't like GM screens. I've never used them, even when I used the... Um, Introduction to Advanced Dungeons and Dragons game. I never used the GM screen which comes with that, and hence I have lost it since. But that is really cool to have for a beginner box, even though this is not a beginner box, this is a full kit, a full box. So I am really, really impressed with this product, and I really want to play this um, with my son. I don't think he would get it as much. He really wants to jump into some of the role-playing stuff that we have because we've got shelves of role-playing books and he wants to get into it. I'm, I'm just curious to see his reaction when he sees this on the shelf because he'll notice this as soon as he gets home from school. Um, also, um, there's so much in this box. It's clear in the back. It's, it's great. This product, they have thought about everything. The only thing I would ask for is maybe a quick reference. Um, to hand like a just a quick reference card for the players but on that they've pretty much ticked every box that i would like in a beginner box and it's from disney which is just scary really really scary <laughs> so that's it for me i know this is probably a bit, a bit longer than our normal ones but um there's a lot in this one um this is more content than most of the beginner boxes that we have if you like the disney movie onward disney pixar movie called onward and you're into role-playing games you like that law you like that setting and you think oh that'd be a cool role-playing game 
oh, this is it. This is the quest of your cool role playing game. This is me. This is me signing off for now. Always remember, it's more fun failing forward and often the most entertaining option to choose. So I'm going to head off and um, enjoy your role playing, people. Bye.